Okay, through two weeks of action, Army, Navy, and Georgia Tech, well, they're all one and one, but they're all running the ball very well and they're playing very good offensive football. They've run 442 plays among the three programs. Right now, the number one concept in the offense, and it's almost tied, is zone option. Zone option's been run one more time than the triple. Both zone option and the triple is 13% of the Army, Navy, and Georgia Tech combined offense. Georgia Tech in the second half of the South Florida game ran zone option for the first time ever. Now, zone option, there's a lot of variations. It's a double option against the pitch key. There are times where they'll bring the A back in motion and have him block number two and let the quarterback run inside or outside of that block. And if you watch my eight-man video, I illustrated that uh, today, actually. And also, Navy runs quite a bit of what they refer to as zone power, where the B back will kick number two and the A back on the backside will go in motion and become the load player, and the quarterback will simply run with the ball. So there's a couple different zone option variations. Uh, the triple is 13% of the offense as well, and the zone dive is 12% of the offense. Those three plays are by far the three most run plays among Army, Navy, and Georgia Tech. We had the opportunity to see Kennesaw State play on Thursday night. Kennesaw runs triple and zone dive as their top two concepts along with the Rocket, and they actually run some jet sweep, which was interesting to see. Now, other concepts that are being run, I'm going to pull this up for you here. Other concepts that are run right now are triple pass is the fourth most common concept in the offense and 7% of the Army, Navy, Georgia Tech offense. The triple pass is the number one playmaking concept in the offense. It leads to the explosive play. You fake the triple, drop back, and the receiver and the A-back run vertical concepts. If it's a compressed formation, the receiver runs a vertical, the A-back runs a wheel. If it's out of the spread formation, which you don't see as much of anymore, you'll see the skinny wheel by the receiver, or excuse me, the skinny post by the receiver, and the wheel by the A-back. The follow play is 6% of the offense. Follow is being run, but not quite as much as zone option, triple, and zone dive. Counter speed is a concept that's been run a lot more, which is the two-way option between the quarterback and the B-back. And there's a couple different variations uh, of counter speed. However, it, the, the speed option concept is next, and then the trap and the rocket. Rocket is being run a lot less every single year, and that likely is because of the emergence of the zone option, which gets the ball on the corner to the quarterback player, which makes sense why it would be run more, because now you don't have to block the alley player, because on zone option, you're canceling the alley player with the quarterback and the backside A-back. That's why zone options is a statistically more effective play than the rocket toss. So overall, I mean, the non-negotiables of the offense are a zone option, the triple, and, and if you can establish the dive and the defense forces you to pull pitch the ball, the zone dive is a, is a great third concept. But until you get the zone option, the triple down, and I've said this now for probably, oh gosh, what, four years now, until you get those two concepts down, you don't have a, a triple option offense. You, you're going to have to lose, pretty much, because you'll maximize your offense with the zone option and the triple. Everything else pretty much is a byproduct of the success of those two concepts. The zone dive, you can try to force it, but if a team is letting you hand the ball off and you can't get four yards, not blocking two people, how the heck are you going to run zone dive and you got to block everybody? The zone dive is designed to basically run the ball where the mic isn't because he ran over the top to take the quarterback or the pitch. So overall, this is what's going on with the offense. Coaches, if you're looking to install this offense the right way the first time, whether you coach 11-man football, 
eight-man football, nine-man football, give me a call, 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265. You're going to learn how to run the triple option offense the right way the first time and the way Army, Navy, and Georgia Tech are running the offense in 2018. You're going to learn that. Talk soon.